90.3 KEXP online all over the world at kexp.org. You're listening to Audio Oasis, the Northwest Music Show. My name is Charlize. I'm your host, and it's now time for a live in studio with Pony Time. All right, good evening. We are Pony Time. Time on KEXP.
listening to live music by Pony Time here on Audio Oasis on KEXP. They are performing songs from their new album, Rumors 2. The Rumors Are True. You just heard Put You There, Don't Mind If I Do, and Hank. Put You There is a hot jam. It's got like an epic little increase in the power of it. Thank you, Shirley's. Yeah, I really like it. It puts me there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've been wanting to do a two part song for a while now. So Yeah. It definitely like it, it, it just like brings you in a little bit and then it just it gets you. I like it. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. The next song that I like you guys haven't performed yet. Maybe but you we will. will. Mm-hmm. Um so how is Tour with Wimps? Tour was fantastic. Oh, I'm gonna do that thing. <laughs> I had an excellent time on tour. They were here earlier this week. Oh, yeah. What up, wimps? They said that you, uh, Luke in particular, have some extravagant snacking that you Circus do. peanuts? Yeah, I think <laughs> that was what they mentioned in particular. I don't know why everybody hates on circus peanuts. They are kind it's of like weird. It's like a classic American flavor. They're weird. Like, what flavor are they? Banana. Oh, Are you sure wow. about that? I absolutely, 100% okay, certain. You know, They're orange peanuts, but banana flavored. Okay, I, um, I found out some intriguing information about gummy bears this week. Okay. The green gummy bears are actually strawberry. And the red gummy bears are raspberry. Shut the front door. That doesn't make sense. It's, it's life. It's like... It's a, a <laughs> life banger that kind of threw me over the edge well, life for a banger. second. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> uh, so how was your release show? It was Consider- amazing. Yeah. It, it sold was out. two nights ago. Totally sold out. Luke and I both crowds, got crowd surfed everywhere. Everybody crowd surfed all our equipment out to the van for us. Oh, that's so great. Yeah. I've never They're seen anything so- <laughs> like it, but. <laughs> Spectacular. I, I think, think we're on a good path. Way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you guys are on a good path. Um, and so, were there fans on stage? Like, like uh, absolutely. Sort of oscillating fans? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, we just went on tour, and uh, it was, you know, August in California. Not a single fan to be seen anywhere in any club on the, on the stage or anywhere. We're just sweating. Sounds like a bill needs to be passed. So, yeah, seriously. California, what are you doing to your artist? Your band, your touring bands and Stop. artists, and your cry being about your water for a second. And get pony time. Get it. some fans. Some fan, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe they were hoping that you guys would sweat and add to their water, <laughs> the water that they need. That's a decent plan. We do sweat a lot. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, so let's talk about the album. <clears throat> okay. Should we oh, go into the rumors, or should we talk about the serious stuff first? I like what you like. Okay, I want to talk about the rumors. Um, are you guys a couple? I don't know. Are we? Who's to say? Yeah. This I mean, I helping. have a girlfriend and Luke's straight, but apart from that, no right. rules, right? No Anything rules. goes. Yeah. You guys trying to make a baby? We might be. <laughs> um, I tweeted at Taco Cat, Lisa Prank, and Chastity Bell last night okay. about just in, if they had any rumors that they wanted cleared up. Um, only Taco Cat responded, and what they, did they want to clear up? Well, they said, um, "Luke and Stacy, are they or aren't they?" That kind of sums it up. Yeah, I don't know. That's the question everybody's asking. Everybody. They also Everybody. said, um, "How does Luke get his hair like that?" But your hair isn't like anything right now. No, it's not like nothing. <laughs> so that doesn't apply. No. And who are your fashion icons? Oh, I'm heavily influenced by the movie Over the Edge from the 1980s. It. it has Matt Dillon. Mm. Uh, it's these group of teenagers um, are feeling oppressed by their parents. So they uh, take over the school. And they kind of burn it down. It's really cool. What are they wearing? It's like uh, kind of like 80s after school special clothes, like mm. ringer T-shirts. Yeah. Uh, tube socks with like these shoes are pre- kind of prevalent. Yeah, you know what I mean. Looks like you're you're influenced by them. It in your never outfit. goes out of style. Yeah, in my opinion. Luke, uh, probably Marky Smith and Michael P. S. Hayes, the wrestler. Nice. Yeah, you guys do like wrestling. 
I, I really like wrestling. Stacy um, might be indifferent about it. Stacy? Um, I think I watched the A Team cartoon when I was little with Mr. T. I like Mr. T. Yeah, rest. Yeah, he, Mr. was he a wrestler? Yeah, no. right. He wasn't really a wrestler, but he did have a little feud thing going on with Rowdy Roddy Piper back in the 80s. There could have been a crossover thing. It was part of the rock and roll connection with Cindy Lauper and Hulk Hogan and Rowdy Roddy Piper. Oh, we don't need that. to get into that Cindy now, Lauper but the video. rock and roll connection, yeah. <clears throat> rock and roll wrestling connection. So on That's a serious rock. note, let's talk about the album. Did you guys record anywhere special? Fantastic studio down in Georgetown, Soto area. Earwig Studio. Cool where we've been before several times and with anyone special with don farwell and with lisa prank or yeah lisa prank yeah she has a special guest appearance on one of our songs which song uh pony time and lisa prank started a side project band for one show called party girls we wear party hats like we're at a birthday party Mm -hmm. um and we have a song called stop talking uh, and that's on the record. So Luke and I switch instruments, and then uh, Robin from Lisa Prank sings and plays guitar. It's pretty good. When you guys switched instruments, how did that feel? Very natural. Mm-hmm. Completely natural. Yeah. What right. are your greatest accomplishments with this album? I think that we just finally are releasing it <laughs> after like two years. It's it's too it's been done for two years yeah we recorded it another time and didn't like how it sounded and then got wildly depressed and thought about giving it all up no no but then that was a real thing the title of the album struck me and i thought we got it's too good not to do rumors true are there um hidden rumors in the album other than what i came up with hmm are, are there rumors in the album? Like hidden rumors. H- hidden like, rumors? Like hidden secrets? Probably loads. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're going to have to you, listen. You wrote the lyrics. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's heck of cryptic stuff in there for you to fig- Maybe not. Awesome. Man. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I enjoyed listening <laughs> to it, and we should probably hear some more music from it. Okay, okay cool. Live music by Pony Time here on Audio Oasis on KEXP.
Pony Time on KEXP. I just want to clap after every song. There's like the moment of silence, and it also sounds so good. More pony time on KEXP. <laughs> Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.